can get back into the castle. If you remember last episode, just after we uh, climbed out of bed, someone came up to our uh, tower room and said to us, hey, the king's looking for you. So we're going to go talk to the king now. Have a talk with Irvin. Sorry about earlier, ma'am. No feelings, eh? No, not really. It did look kind of messed up earlier, even for you. Listen, I was a beautiful boy, and if you didn't recognize that, I don't know. All right, who's this uh, scholarly-looking gentleman? Hey there. Ah, oh, yes, John Bert, isn't it? That's me. And how can I help you today, John Bert? Well, tell me everything you know about the castle. Tell me everything you know about the castle. My pleasure. You've come to the right man. I thought I came to the left man. I actually live behind the walls. Like, I get a little crawl space. We didn't have floors when I was a kid. It was just dirt, sawdust, and blood. So I just got a bug dead there for a second. And a thief, an entitled rich boy from the Southern Kingdoms, who stopped at nothing to get what he desired. A man with absolutely no respect for those who came before him. Pretty sure I've had bosses like that in the past. Murdered its occupants, paving the way for his entitled regime. What was once a sacred house of worship became his home. You mean the castle? Exactly. He filled the halls with this cheap tat and paved over the entranceway to the catacombs. You mean to say there are people buried underneath the castle? Doesn't really feel right, does it? Anyway, he didn't... Now I'm having Diablo flashbacks. Hopefully I don't have to go downstairs and kill undead. Pimbrimalka Ford was a wicked man. Much like his predecessor, he was interested in little but riches and wealth. Pembrim reigned over Ringlewood for many years, as I sat by and watched what was once a beautiful civilized town. I could have did something, but I just kind of sat by and let him do his thing. I didn't want to get into his personal space. After the war, there was nothing left to fight for. The Alcavard brothers had conquered the lands and left no stone unturned. Soon, Pembrim grew tired disbanded his post and sent Kors back to the Southern Kingdoms. Of course, someone had to pick up the pieces. That's where Theodore came in. King Theodore! Woo! <laughs> John Burt, you're so enthusiastic. Such a kind fellow. He was exactly what this town needed. That he is. And we also I need a Starbucks. Quiet. I could certainly imagine a few worse. Well, I guess that's about it. Any questions? Well, thank you for all that exposition. What do you know about the wild lands? What do you know of the wildlands beyond the gates? Only that which I've seen in my youth. There's the Elder Scar, formed thousands of years ago after the first fight of gods and men. The Deadwoods, a deep, sprawling maze of women oak filled with unimaginable terrors. Not for the light of heart, I assure you. Beyond that is the greater northern region. I've yet to meet any man who dare venture into those treacherous peaks. Oh, and I hear we now have an outbreak of wrinkle worm. Not far north of the I hate it when my wrinkle worm uh, outbreaks. Wrinkle worm? Ghastly things. Fully grown, they're the size of a house, with jaws the size of doors. Should we not be a little concerned? There's a lot we can do. Besides, it seems to have nested ready for the winter months. Yikes, well, uh, thanks. I'll be sure to give that one a miss. Well, that sounds pretty scary and terrifying. Thankfully, we're like a guard, and there should be no reason for us to go outside the gates. Uh, I've heard you talk a lot of the Southern Kingdoms. Of the Southern Kingdoms. South of Rinkwood are many kingdoms, towns, ports, and cities. There's the seven cities of Alcaford, the port of Beswick. The sprawling farmland of Daphne, Hardington House, and Chisuni, to name a few. Travel even further, and you'll come across the Southern Kingdoms, a place where the rich and wealthy gorge themselves on fancy wine and expensive cheeses. That sounds delicious. You know, I'm perfectly happy to gorge myself on boxed wine, 
and sliced cheese. Right, of course. If you'd like to know more, you can always consult a tome from the castle library. I might just do that. Thanks. Not a problem, sir. Kind of miss that, the fact that we don't uh, call books tomes anymore. It's like, what are you reading? I'm reading a tome. Sounds very, very, uh, up uppity. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, uh, clerk. Can I can I take your book? If I want to see the register, I should ask the clerk. Words don't make any sense from this angle. Okay. Uh, can I take your quill? Hey, hands off! That's not yours. Uh, buddy, this is an adventure game. Everything will be mine. All right. Uh, let's see about talking to the king. Uh, Tom Burt, you're looking better. You guys suck. Did I just hear that, right? Don't appreciate that tone of voice, Tomba. But you had me kicked out of the castle, in the blooming Long Johns. No, no. How exactly was we to know that was you? Yeah, you weren't exactly talking proper. Didn't make no sense <laughs> from what I heard. Speaking about Did talking you proper. You so quick to notice my dwarven roots. A lot of dwarves about. Yeah, you ain't so special. Normally I have beards, though, wouldn't you say? He's playing silly buggers with you. You looking for an encore? Dusty? No, 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 no. Wait a second. Look, I'm really sorry. I that is one large man. It's been a rough morning. I've overstepped my mark. <laughs> Look, Bobby, shake it. I'm really sorry, guys. I just, I just wanted to see the king. What you want Dusty for? I'm not sure. Do we have a problem here, Tom Burt? Certainly not. No, 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 nada. No, just were just on my way. It was lovely talking to you fellas. All right, Dusty. That'll be all. Dusty tired. King will be very happy to see you, Tom Burr. <laughs> Here, give him this when you see him. Is it a kiss? Ah. What is it? Nothing fancy, is it? No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing interesting. No. Just, uh, just some pantry requisition or something. <laughs> Go on, on your way. All right. Uh, well, we can't even look at it, apparently. Knuckles. Did he take it? Delivering the message as we speak. <laughs> Man, you guys are too hard on him. <laughs> Rather him than me. I'll drink too hard. What do you think the king will do? Beats me. It ain't gonna be pretty. Only time will tell. I feel like I'm set up to be a fall guy. Act one. Royal blood. And that's, that's kind of surprised we weren't at act one yet. But I guess, uh, finding your clothes. Man, that guy is huge compared to us. You see, I've had the worst. Yes, yes. You see, I've looked everywhere. Would you happen to know where my daughter is? No, Menor. Not seen Miss Ferriman since the tournament. Crafty little whippersnapper. <laughs> oh, what's that you've got there, lad? Here you go, my lord. Believe it's a pantry requisition. Right. At the hour of sunrise this morn. Ooh, classy pantry requisition. Fool's Gold, Act 4. Um, okay, apparently we can make movies in old-timey fantasy land. Action. There once was a man with the will of a warrior. He guarded the kingdom whilst most laid their head. To carry his duties through ice, wind, and rain. To know that his efforts are never in vain. But after all, today, it's my wonder why. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat supper. I'm a poor orphan, and I haven't eaten in four days. You know what? I agree with Princess Thurman. It is called supper. I'll use people who say that your late night meal is called dinner. You're wrong. But I'm but a poor orphan peasant, and I don't have any money. Then I will take your loot. He plans to loot her loot. Oops. Something broke. What is that? Well, the crystal's gone again. I told you not to buy the cheap ones. Oh my. Bloody idiot. The king will have our heads for this. 
definitely something bad going on over there. Do you guys not hear that? Apparently the film industry must be super important. Whoa! Surprise! <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. Anyway, you're coming with me. Ooh, okay. Apparently the guitar went visible, or the loot. Ladies and gentlemen, your king. Meanwhile. <coughs> this ain't no taxi. Silence. I demand you take me beyond the scar. <coughs> no, Excuse me. not gonna happen, mate. You can stand there all day for what I care. Ain't nothing stopping me from doing my job. Tundra expels it. Whoa. Cue uh, Christopher Lloyd in Suburban Commando. I was frozen today. Why'd you do that? <laughs> What's the matter, Tom? But King not like the news. I can't believe you guys. Hey, somebody had to tell him. Yeah, and you were so insistent on us letting you in. Just made sense, you know. Oh, please tell me someone is out there looking for her. Oh, don't worry, you little lad. Yeah, we got the knights of record to handle that one. Four of Rinkowitz's most decorated heroes rode out of those gates this morning. But they're old and, well, quite rotund. Hey, it's not my place to comment on the physical stature of those lads. Yeah, King Bates and the boys are pretty bloody for their troubles. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have her back in no time at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, I suggest you find someone else to bother. Yeah, Scrab Kid, we've seen enough of you. I gotta say, the king has hired a pretty diverse group. There's the large gray guy. There's like someone who looks like an orc. Uh, theremin, or not theremin, but uh, our hero seems to be uh, half dwarf or quarter dwarf. Damn it, Tomber! Think. Hmm. Here. Oh, that's not important now. Ah, uh, a face like an angel. That's it. The note said that the princess vanished this morning. While filming the final act of her new flicky, Fool's Gold, the scene took place upon Lover's Walk, cast against the morning sunrise. I bet there I'll find a clue to solving this whole mess. Okay. This is my one chance to prove myself. I can't cock this up. <laughs> I just hope we don't throw up Mom's spaghetti if it's our one chance. Hey yo. Sorry, Tom, but can't let you pass. I happen to be looking after an important crime scene, one which you're not allowed in. Uh. There's a chair with the word director written on it. Must okay. Have fallen over. I'll do this from afar then. A big fluffy thing on a stick. I have one of those. That's the princess's guitar. Looks like the jester's hat. Okay. Can we ask Bertwick any questions? Hey, have you got a minute? Doesn't look like I'm going anywhere fast. Tell me about the Tell kidnapping. Me everything you know about the kidnapping. Uh, why? I need to know every last detail. It's really important. Well, I wasn't there or anything. All I know is what Hendrik told me. Tell me what he told you. Just there was this big flash in the sky. Then the cinegraph thing broke. Before they knew it, there's this big old bang and everyone started freaking out. It wasn't until they stopped screaming that they realized Faramin was missing. So it was definitely some kind of witchcraft? Seems so. If you want to know more, you should go talk to Hendrik. He was there when all this happened. Okay. Uh, who or what is a Hendrik? Oops. He's got hair the color of flame. Guy knows more about a kidnapping than anyone. Torment? Tell me about yourself. Let's chat. You're new here, right? Tell me a little about yourself. I'd rather not. Huh? Honestly, I'm really not in the mood, Tom, but save it for another day, yeah? Oh, um, okay. Hope you feel better soon. Uh, all right. I guess that's it for what we can learn here. So we got to look for Hendrik. Uh, well, 
Let's see if Hendrik is in town. All right, we have a very shell-shocked looking individual who is Hendrik. Uh, you okay there, buddy? Hey, Hendrik, what's up with you? Ah, don't take me away! Easy, fella. It's me, Tom Burr. Oh, God, Tom Burr. The things I've seen. I've seen the darkness. The, the end. No, oh, come on. We've all been there. Want too many drinks. Everything is spinning. You're there, crying on the bathroom floor, waiting to die. It's not like that. This was clear as day. The whole kingdom was on fire. We saw the castle burn to the ground. That's silly. The castle's made of stone. What about Faramir? Did you see who took her? When I came to, she was gone. Nothing left. We busted up Luke. The other guys didn't see nothing neither. So no one saw anything? The princess just disappeared, just like that? Gone, without a trace. If you ask me, I'd say it was an inside job. Someone drugged the morning gruel, sure. We ain't ever had a dream that was so real, you know? Well, if that was the case... I guess we I have a gruel in pre present danger then. Exactly. That's why we locked him up. Smart, eh? You've got to watch your back. Never know what he might take next. Right, so what you're saying is you have absolutely no idea where Ferriman is, and you're just going to sit here hiding. I'm... Uh, I'm on Overwatch. Sure, looks like it. Look, that's all I've got, mate. I'll have you know I've had a very stressful morning. Not half as bad as Ferriman's, I'll bet. Well, you've been incredibly unhelpful. Thanks. Wait! Tomber! Yes? The boys did spot some dodgy bloke stumbling into the mug. He's pissed as a new. No way you could have pulled it off. Funny though. I guess Newt's known for their alcoholism. These parts still today. It's a bit suspicious if you ask me. Well, that's something I guess. Let's see if I can get some sense out of it. Cheers! You don't let your guard down, Tonti. You never know who they'll take next. Alright, well, I guess the next thing to do is go to the monk and see who this suspicious individual is. But first, let's talk to the lady with the robust hair. Hey, Crystal, you got a minute? Always for you, sweetie. What's on your mind? Ah, uh, she sounds pleasant. So, what brought you to wrinkle? To wrinkle, what? I've always lived here, silly. My father works up at the castle. What brought you to Wrinklewood, Tom Burt? Me? Oh, uh, I can't remember exactly. To be honest, I can't remember much before the storm. Oh, yeah, that was quite a night. Father wasn't pleased at all. Lots of damages to the castle. Of course, that means lots of paperwork. Father hates paperwork. Who yeah, doesn't? Me too. What's your poison? What's your poison, Crystal? Oh, this? Elderflower and dangleberry juice. Nothing like a good dangleberry. Why have I not tasted this exotic beverage? Oh, it's not on tap. Samson makes it himself fresh from fruits in the paddy fields. I thought booze came in barrels. Silly. It's non-alcoholic. Aw, oh, non-alcoholic. That's the worst. Some of us likes to get up before midday. What? Oh, that's crazy. That's Your father works at the castle. Sure does. I'm surprised you didn't know. He keeps the books in order, handles requisitions, that sort of thing. Ah, uh, so her father must be the clerk. Oh, sounds like an important job. Yep, sure is. If you see him, do say hi from me. Will do, You'll Crystal. Him because of his spectacles and big bushy moustache. A great big oh, bushy beard. Mind you, I'm terrible with names. That's okay. Father keeps a book of those too. That's thinking smart. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? Tell me about voodoo. I believe I was tending to my rosebuds. I like to get a head start on the day. So much. Rosebuds are what I call my massive. Of... Rosebuds, eh? Rose bushes. Did you happen to see anything suspicious during your morning endeavors? Not really. I was a little bummed to see some vagabond with half inch my milk, but other than that... Someone nicked your milk? Yeah, can't trust no one these days. Hmm, well, I'll be sure to look into that. I'm sure she was cheesed off by her missing milk. 
well, I can't say much as not to start folk worrying, but... Princess Faramin is missing! Oh no! Missing? Good job keeping that on the down low, Tandy. You're telling me? One minute she was here, the next, poof, gone, in the blink of an eye. I must have looked everywhere for her. Oh, I do hope she's safe. Smart girl like Faramin. Probably just fancied a change of scenery. I hope so. Anyways, I better continue my... She went to see the giant wrinkle worm, didn't she? Not a problem, sweetie. It was nice speaking to you, Crystal. You too, Tonbert. Thanks for keeping us normie townsfolk safe. Normies. Just doing my job. Can I can I take her beverage? No. Crystal, would you like a fruit? I'll hold on to the fruit for now. I might get peckish later. Alright. Wanna I have a dart. Can we play darts? Can't you see I'm busy, kid? How's the darts? Darts? Well the point you start with. Oh, good one. Are you winning? Do I look like I'm playing a game to you? Well, uh I'm partaking in a rigorous training routine. And you ain't helping. Right. Got any tips for a rookie? I dabble. Got my own dartboard back at home. Yeah, sure. Stop bothering me. Charming. What's fun is uh, going to like a bar where they have like a sports channel playing. They're showing darts. Man, people really, really get into that. How's the darts team going? What team? Those lazy buggers are holding me back. No commitment. That's their problem. No, nope. I'll be taking home the solo trophy this year. Seems like Just a sharp a plan. For it upon my mantle. Well, best of luck to you. Pa, I don't need luck. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? This morning? Well, I was at home training. Oh, well, what about after that? I don't know how you train for train. darts except right, throw right, darts. That's the, the, the only thing I can think of. Suspicious? Out of the ordinary? I mean, have you seen some professional dart players? It's not like they're the most uh, physically fit uh, individuals. What do you mean? Well, call me old-fashioned, but I don't appreciate their magic times. Hey. They've always got something up their sleeves. Mighty big sleeves, too. This one was different, though. His eyes were all messed up, like piss holes in the <laughs> That's a beautiful right, so turn of phrase. You're gonna have to start using that. Like that guy. Yeah, that's right. Much shorter, though. Started running his mouth, blabbering on about the princess. Faramin? Yeah, no doubt he saw her in his magic tea leaves or some codswallop. Young lad had quite the temper. Stormed off as quick as he came in. This is all starting to make sense. Glad you think so. Anyway, tell him he's not welcome around these parts. I'll have a lot more than that to say to him. Do you happen to see where he went? Looked like he was headed for Lover's Walk. Ooh. Say, wasn't the princess Think there's a connection there. Just this morning. Exactly. Pretty girl like that. Tracks all kind of weird folk. Well, thanks for the chat. Right. Okay. Uh, can I have a glass? Don't take lightly to folk nicking glasses. I'll uh. leave it be. You have a dog. What's up, dog? Hey there, little fella. And yes, you can indeed pet the dog. Uh -huh. We have a lost property box. Can we check that in? Let's see what's in here. There's a used hanky, half-eaten sandwich, a set of moldy dentures, and a key. I think this is the key to my bedroom. Well, that's convenient. Well, it's worth a go. Yeah, sure. Just take it. Be my guest, Daddy Guards. <laughs> well, we seem to have a nice relationship. Obviously, this is the man I have to talk to, but I do want to explore the environment a little more. Hey, if I could just take a minute of your time. Get lost. Uh, you do realize I work for the Wrinklewood Guard. Don't sweet talk me. Go on, be off with you. Sir, I... Do you want to make this personal? I'd leave it out, Tonbert. But I've got an investigation to do. I can vouch for him. He ain't done nothing. All right, but if I find out he's to blame, I'll... You'll do what? I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have someone else deal with it. Yep, walking away now. Our oh. hero, everybody. Can I stick the pencil <laughs> in his crack? I'd love to poke him. I doubt they'll take kindly to That would have been great, but here we are. Now let's talk to the barman. Okay, if you wouldn't mind. Right you are, Tonbert. One for this poor fellow. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely up, green gob oh, that he spit out the there. Fire. Huh? Flames. What? Sorry, I don't smoke. Eternal hellfire. Right. Barkeep, you know this man? Never seen him before in my life, sir. 
crimson cast upon the skies. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Burns the eye. Sounds pleasant. He's talking in tongues. How many has he had? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. The man was blind drunk when he got here. The cogs are in motion. Uh, Pretty cog. Whirring. Grinding. Click, click, click. Sir, you, uh... The dawn of sin. One's here and gone again. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can find out something. So, what's the deal with all this talk about cogs? A virgin Is it cogs wallop? For the wealth of the majesty. When sure. one is lost, a thousand follow. Okay. When one is lost, you mean... A thousand follow. A foul... What? Sure. And another and another. Yeah. You've really got to stop drinking. It makes sense. Um, can we take his stick? About this pointy stick here. Well, can I have it? I try to collect as many things as possible to put in my sack here. It's woven with infinity string, so I can carry pretty much anything. Never can be too prepared. Only the worthy can carry the element. The fifth element? I am no longer worthy. Don't see much of your type round here. What brings you to our neck of the woods? The path has been chosen. Time sure. Mistress. I like where you're going with that. But if we could bring it back to something a little more coherent, that would be great. Through the eyes of the beholder, the world turns swish. Cheer up, mate. Positive thinking's a powerful thing, even when life knocks you down. You can always Listen, have you not seen the secret? Than you. Somewhere else. Exhibit A. Yours truly. I just lost the love of my life. We have made our bed, and now must lie, waiting. But my mom says lying is wrong. Fate, I have made much of. In sobriety, I chose my fate. <laughs> Under influence, I will drown in That is body. definitely a think drunk, uh, hey, Barky, turn of phrase. That pokey black stuff. You know, the one that sobers you up, good and proper. Right before sending you ass first into a week-long hangover. That's the one. Right you are. Fast as you can, please. There are lives at stake. When one is lost, a thousand follow. Uh-huh, you said that. A thousand follow? What's that mean, then? And then another. Another still. Damn it. This conversation so we're at 3,000? We really need to sober you up. For he who tastes the blood of the dynasty will forever hold his own. Barkeep, what's the hold up? Coffee. Black. Down the hatch, mate. Blech. Talk to me. Fine. Talk Just to me, no Goose. more of that rancid black piss. I'll tell you what you need to know, but you won't like it one bit. Okay, then. Since we're talking about voice now. What's the deal with What's the cogs? Deal? Talk about cogs? Like clockwork. You the said that. Has turned. It's kind of helping we get a little bit a something a little bit different now that you're There's quote unquote no sober after one cup of coffee. You sure you've had enough coffee? I'll ask again. What brings you to Wrinklewood? I don't know. Fate? Destiny? Morbid curiosity? Take your pick. A thousand follow. I tried to stop him. I... I could have stopped him. God, it's all my fault. Anyway, about the pointy stick. Only the worthy can carry the element. Yep, we got that. I am no longer worthy. Okay. Stopped who? He was my student. My apprentice. Oh, it's a Big whole ambitions. Kylo Ren situation, but isn't no it? Brains. Let me guess. Magic <sighs> went wrong. This is no magic known to man. Tis the dark arts, known only to those. The dark who arts. Dark you can arts. only do them sure with the lights like off. That boy will be the death of me. So what did your apprentice do exactly? Do you really want to know how the world ends? Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I've still got half a pint left. On your head be it then. It all started with a book. An ancient the Necronomicon? My bloodline has kept secret Suddenly it's evil generation dead? through generation. It was until this day that these pages of evil had been kept firmly shut. That is, 
until I carelessly left the door to my study unlocked. The lad was smart. I'll give him that. He must have he already put a bucket on my head so I couldn't see what he was doing. Student teacher catch up meetings, a lavishly decorated wooden chest with intricately detailed gold trim, securely locked, of course. He was waiting for the perfect opportunity to satisfy his curiosity. And this is where you kept the fancy book? Right. The book was adorned with an occult sigil, one said to influence those weak of mind. Hmm. Thornburg seems like he might be weak of mind. Consumed him. Did you see him after this? Didn't fancy going after him? Oh yes. We met on several occasions. Played some part cheesy. Always in a hurry to Also played else. some... Cribbage. Sure it was I still don't really understand how that works. Something so about 15s. He skipped between towns, villages, and cities like a cartographer. Never staying more than one night, but he was always sure to visit the local regency. He must have visited every castle in the Isles, from the deep south all the way to the northmost settlement. And then he found Wrinklewood. That's us! I followed him here last night. <laughs> Tom Bird's like, I love it when we're mentioned in the story. Right in. There's no wonder he chose her. Like if you come from a small town and it's mentioned on Jeopardy for some reason. Keep it down. I just want to sit here in peace and drown my sorrows. I don't need half the kingdom out for my blood. No, feck. We have to do something. <laughs> it's no use. He's probably already done it. Done what? A sacrifice of royal blood. A deal Ooh. with the devil. <sighs> I have seen the future as I gazed upon the looking glass. It all burns. So it's that so gif of the dog can that says done. everything is fine. Fate has chosen. I have seen it. Time stops for no man. You might have made up your mind, but some of us don't give up at the first sign of trouble. You've read the book, right? You gotta know where he's headed. The road to immortality is long. He is far from here by now. Time to cut the ominous riddle me diddle apathetic crap. Where exactly is far? Ugh, here. Take this. On your grave, be it. What's this? It'll tell you all you need. Now, leave. Let me keep what little dignity I have left. This is some serious stuff. Where'd you get this? I stole it from his pack sack. I was hoping I could make some sense of this whole mess. Alas, there appears to be a page missing. Maybe you'll have better luck. Yep, leave it to me. Now, don't go running off anywhere. No funny business. I have no intention of leaving. Kingdom already has a jester. Uh, hey. I never caught your name. It's Drareth. Well, I figured it'd be like Fred or something like that. Easy. Tom Burt's on the case. The princess will be back by nightfall. You got my word. I wish that were true. The Dark Arts. A beginner's guide to the path of sin. Hmm. I need to find out what these symbols mean. I should probably examine this creepy book whilst I'm at it. Alright, well let's examine the creepy book and hopefully not pull up Call of Cthulhu and go insane. Wait a second. This map looks strangely familiar. It does. I've seen it a hundred times before. Kinda. Hmm, yeah, that hmm. seems familiar. Now, I might be wrong, but this map looks eerily similar to the view from my bedroom. Only one way to find out. Well, there we go. That's going to be our next step. So I'm going to end things off there. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, think about liking uh, and uh, subscribing to the channel. And, of course, if you like what you see in terms of the game, be sure you check out Guard Duty on Steam, available now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and we'll talk to you next time.